Well, hello everyone and welcome to this English lesson where I'm going to talk about bad habits. Bad habits of, are of course things we do that aren't good for us or maybe they just annoy other people. Um they're kind of the opposite of good habits. There are things you do in life that are good for your health. They're good for you and other people appreciate it when you do them. Bad habits are the opposite. I was looking through my lesson topics and I realized that I had done lessons on chores and errands and happy things and daily routines and mostly I talked about good things and I thought I should do at least one lesson where I talk about something negative. So, today we're going to learn a little bit about bad habits. The first bad habit I want to talk about is something that maybe children or teenagers do more than adults and that's biting your nails or biting your fingernails. This is something people do sometimes because they're nervous. I don't want to say who but when I was a kid, one of my siblings would bite their nails and they would bite their nails so that they never had to clip their nails. Um that's how much they bit off. So, it's something people do when they're nervous. It's something people do. It's a bad habit. It's something people do um which isn't really good for them. Um I'm not sure if it's bad for your teeth but I think it's bad for your fingernails if you're always biting your fingernails. I do not bite my fingernails. By the way, as we do this lesson on bad habits, I will freely admit which bad habits I do. Biting my nails is not one of them. This might be one of my bad habits, eating late at night. So, I have a rule that after supper, I'm not supposed to eat anymore, okay? But sometimes at nine or ten o'clock at night, I will have a snack. Sometimes I have a midnight snack. A midnight snack is a snack you have when you get up in the middle of the night and you kind of maybe you go to the bathroom, maybe you go to get a drink of water from the kitchen and you decide at the same time you're going to have a cookie or a piece of cake. So, eating late at night is a bad habit. Um certainly having a midnight snack can be a bad habit as well. Procrastinating. I am not a procrastinator. I do not procrastinate. Procrastinating is when you leave everything to the last minute. When I plan my English lessons like today's lesson, I have the lesson all finished the day before and I do a practice lesson. I actually go live and do a little quick practice to make sure everything is working. But some people do procrastinate. They are guilty of procrastinating. Their bad habit is procrastination. So, I've used a number of different versions of the word procrastinate there but certainly leaving things to the last minute is a bad idea. It can really get you in trouble. Students are often guilty of procrastinating. They often procrastinate. Um talking with food in your mouth. This is not something I do usually. I don't do this but it's considered rude and considered a bad habit especially in Canada. I'm not sure if this is true in every country. So, I do have to say that some of the bad habits I'm talking about are cultural but in Canada and I believe in the United States, it's considered a bad habit. It's considered rude to be eating, chewing and talking at the same time. It's not considered uh, polite. It's considered rude. So, talking with food in your mouth often something that children will do. Adults don't often do this but children sometimes will do this. And then of course, children also sometimes have the bad habit of chewing with your mouth open or chewing with their mouth open. Again, this might be cultural um and there's nothing wrong with chewing with your mouth closed or open. I know in different parts of the world, it might be different but in Canada, we will often remind our children to chew their food with their mouth closed. Take a bite and then chew with your mouth closed. So, chewing with your mouth open can be a bad habit that children develop when they're younger. Smoking. So, I wanted to mention this. When you do a lesson about bad habits, it can make people feel bad about themselves. I'm not doing this lesson to point out bad habits and to tell people 
that they should feel bad because of their bad habit. But smoking is one of the bad habits that isn't good for you. It doesn't maybe just annoy other people because of the smell. It's actually bad for your health. I cannot pass judgment though on people who smoke because I myself was a smoker a long time ago. So, I understand that this bad habit is also addicting. Nicotine in the cigarettes is very addictive and it makes you want to keep smoking but smoking is is a bad habit. I think we all just have to admit that. Um for all of you out there that do smoke who are trying to quit, I wish you all the best. I think it would be great. Fidgeting. So, fidgeting is when you move for no reason. Um that's actually called a fidget spinner. A fidget spinner was this little thing that was very popular a number of years ago. Um but fidgeting is uh doing things like this, maybe even making noise. Um you know, if you kind of sit and you're just constantly, hopefully that's not all going in the microphone. If you're just constantly moving, we would say that you are fidgeting. And fidgeting can be a bad habit that some people have. Some people fidget. Some people move all the time. Maybe you're in a movie theater and the person behind you is kind of just um kicking your seat a little bit repeatedly. Maybe they are someone who fidgets a lot. That can be a bad habit. It's a funny word, isn't it? Fidgeting. When you fidget. You want me to say it one more time? Fidget. Um not exercising <laughs> is a bad habit. Exercising is a good habit. So, this is a good example of something where there's two complete opposites of each other. If you go for a walk or a run every day, if you work out, if you do if you do things to stay in shape, you are exercising. Not exercising can be a bad habit. Some people are in the habit of just laying on the couch all the time. Maybe watching Bob the Canadian videos. I'm not sure. But certainly not exercising is a bad habit. Staying up late. So, this can be uh children or adults. Um sometimes people uh will not go to bed on time. They have a bad habit of staying up late. They tend to find things to do late at night. Maybe they go out with their friends. Maybe they read a book late like this little kid is doing. Um but getting a good night's sleep is a good habit. Staying up late can be a bad habit but it doesn't have to be. If you don't need to get up early the next morning, staying up late is a lot of fun. But if you go to bed at one or two in the morning and you need to get up at five or six, I would say that's a bad habit. Slouching. I am guilty of this. So, slouching is any time you sit in a way that's just not good. We call it bad posture. If you always work bent over, if you're always like this at your desk, your spine curves a little bit. We would say that you are slouching. You can slouch backwards. You can slouch forwards but certainly bad posture is not good. This is one of the reasons why at school, I use a stand-up desk. So, I do not sit very often when I'm teaching. I have an adjustable desk. My teacher's desk goes up and down and I usually keep it at the top position. I like to stand when I teach and I like to have good posture. I like my shoulders back, uh my back straight, my head not like leaning to one side or the other. Too much screen time. So, this is a relatively new one. Um sometimes kids spend too much time on their phones. Adults are also guilty of this. I am definitely guilty of this. I think I get way too much screen time. Now, this past year, it wasn't really my fault. Um I was teaching from home, working from home, doing YouTube from home. All of that involved being on a computer but screen time would be any time you use your phone or a laptop or a computer. Any time you're staring at a screen, we consider it screen time and in North America and maybe other parts of the world, um <laughs> I'm just laughing at mode eggs. Be fun if you did the entire lesson in that position. <laughs> no, I'm not sure I could do that. Um anyways, a lot of people spend a lot of time on screens and it it can be a negative thing. It can be a bad habit. 
Drinking can be a bad habit. Now, I'm not sure in your country whether you consider consuming alcoholic beverages good or not. In some parts of the world, it's considered good. In some parts of the world, it's not a good thing. But certainly, having too much of it, we can all agree, is probably a bad thing. Drinking too often and too much can be a bad habit for some people. Littering. When I go for a walk along my road, there is often garbage in the ditch. People often throw their garbage out the window of their car while they're driving along. So, littering can be a bad habit. People go through the drive through They get a coffee and something to eat and then when they're done drinking and eating, they just throw the litter. They throw the trash out the window of their car. It makes me a little bit angry. Sucking your thumb. So, sucking your thumb is something that kids do. Kids often will suck their thumb. Sometimes they'll have a blanket that they carry with them and they'll suck their thumb. I think this is bad for your teeth. I'm not a hundred percent sure but it is a bad habit that parents often try to get their kids to stop doing. I sucked my thumb when I was a kid. I had a blanket that I carried around with me. I'm not sure until what age. So, when I was really really young, I had a blanket and I sucked my thumb and I remember my mom trying to convince me to stop. I think she put salt on my thumb once um so that I wouldn't suck it but I think it tasted good that way. I'm not sure. I can't remember all the details that far back but I was definitely a child who sucked my thumb. Being hard on yourself. So, this is something that people can be guilty of doing. This is a bad habit where when you do things, you often are annoyed with yourself or angry with yourself um because you feel like you didn't do a good job and so, in English, we have phrases like you beat yourself up over it or you're hard on yourself. Um in your mind, you just think, oh, I didn't do a good job. What's wrong with me? I should have done a better job. So, being hard on yourself can definitely be a bad habit. Being late. This is similar to procrastinating but not exactly. I'm usually on time for everything I go to but there are people I know who are always late. Whenever we have meetings at school, the meetings start at a certain time and usually we have to wait five or ten minutes for some people to come because they're always late. That to me, if you were to ask um what bad habit annoys me, that this is another one that annoys me a lot. I don't like it when people are late. Using your phone at dinner. This is considered a bad habit um and it's related to screen time. If you go out to eat with people and you spend the entire time on your phone, then what was the point of going out to eat? So, it's considered polite to not use your phone at dinner. When my family gets together at Thanksgiving or Christmas, um I really appreciate the fact that my brothers and sisters, they don't use their phones at dinner. We just talk and have nice conversations. Talking during a movie is a bad habit. I've noticed, I don't wanna blame teenagers too much but I've noticed when I go to the movie theater, quite often there are a lot of teenagers there who talk during the whole movie and talking during a movie I think is a bad habit. I think you should sit quietly and appreciate the movie that you are watching. Worrying too much. So, this is a hard one. We had the question earlier, how do you stop a bad habit? I'm someone I think who worries too much. I think um it's because I'm a dad. I think dads and moms naturally worry about their kids a lot but worrying too much isn't healthy. It's a bad habit. I don't know how to fix this bad habit <laughs> but I certainly spend too much time worrying especially if um my children go out at night and if they're supposed to be home at 11 p.m. or midnight and that time has come and gone and they're not home yet, I start to worry. I worry that they were in a car accident or that something bad has happened to them but worrying too much um is not not a good thing. Gambling. So, gambling. This has um there are different opinions on gambling around the world. Um gambling is something that once again, things that you do in moderation can be quite fun but I think if you're going to the casino every day and constantly losing money, that's a bad habit. So, certainly, 
there are probably a variety of opinions on whether gambling is a bad habit or not. My opinion would be this. If you are doing something that's destructive to yourself or that causes you to lose money regularly then I would say it's a bad habit. Um I live close to the casino in Niagara Falls. I think I've been to the casino twice in my life. More to just have a look than to gamble. I'm not really a gambler. You can probably tell from my personality. It's too risky. Texting while driving. So, when I go for a walk, (laughs) I see a lot of people driving by and some of them are speeding which is another bad habit but some people are in the habit of texting while they drive. So, every once in a while a car will go by while I'm walking along the side of the road and I'll see the person driving like this. I they'll they'll be looking down while they're driving and I think oh you are texting and driving. So, texting while driving is a bad habit and if you get stopped for it you certainly get a big fine. You don't want to get fined. Uh, You don't want to do that and get a fine. Listening to music too loud. I was guilty of this for a good part of my life. I loved putting on headphones. I had a really loud uh, sound system when I was in university and I still do. I don't turn it as loud anymore but this can eventually damage your ears. Um children uh really like to get earbuds or headphones so they can listen to music quietly but sometimes at school um teenagers especially they'll have their AirPods in and I can hear their music from across the room and I think oh that is a bad habit uh listening to music so loud. Overeating we kind of covered this one a little bit but eating too much can certainly be a bad habit. Um I'm guilty of this one as well. You sometimes think if you exercise a lot you can eat whatever you want but I'll tell you this that's not true. (laughs) You cannot exercise your way out of a bad diet. What that means is You can't eat whatever you want just because you exercise. It doesn't quite work that way. You have to eat healthy and exercise but I'm guilty of this one. This is one of the bad habits that I have. I tend to overeat. Too much salt. So, this is interesting. Like I know a few older people where the doctor has said you need to cut back on salt. You have high blood pressure or other problems because you're eating too much salt. In North America, we tend to put salt on a lot of our food. If you buy frozen food from a grocery store in Canada, frozen food for some reason has a lot of salt in it. If you (laughs) in fact, if you eat two slices of pizza from the frozen food section, I think it's enough salt for your whole day. Fast food, hamburgers, french fries all have a lot of salt in them. It is the main way that we flavor food in North America. And uh one of the problems with that is that people uh consume far too much salt and it causes other health problems. And then of course, we have too much sugar. So, until a few years ago, um I don't think this was considered a problem. Um we knew that too much salt was bad. Some people think too much fat is bad but now they're thinking it's more sugar that is the worst thing to have as well as sorry, along with too much salt in our diets. In North America, we eat too much sugar. There is literally sugar in everything. I had a friend come over once um from China and he commented that all the food in the United States and Canada tasted sweet. He said the hamburger bun tasted sweet. Everything he felt like it had sugar in it and I said, yes, it does but certainly eating um too many sweets or eating having too much sugar in your diet is a bad thing. Bad habit if you eat it a lot. Skipping breakfast. Now, I'm not sure this is considered a bad habit anymore. It used to be considered a bad habit but now people are starting to do um what do they call it? Intermittent fasting where you don't eat for 16 hours a day and then you only eat for eight hours. And they're finding that maybe skipping breakfast isn't a bad habit. So, I will let you decide. Maybe you can tell me in the comments what you think. I really like having breakfast. I usually have a fairly large breakfast and then smaller meals for the rest of the day. 
But it's possible now that skipping breakfast is a good habit although it used to be considered a bad habit. Uh being a perfectionist. Let me just check where I am here. There we go. A perfectionist is someone who wants everything to be perfect. I am not a perfectionist. Well, normally. I think I'm a little bit of a perfectionist. I think if my kids watch this, they might laugh. A perfectionist, if they were to make an English lesson, everything in the lesson would need to be perfect before they put it on YouTube. Um if you were um uh let's see here. If you were someone like this guy mowing his lawn, he's out with the scissors to make sure every blade of grass is the same height. We would consider that uh, being a perfectionist. So, why would this be a bad habit? Well, there's kind of this middle ground between procrastination and perfectionist or doing everything late and doing things perfectly. You just have to do things so they're either good or very good because if you're a perfectionist, you might spend way too much time on something. Here's a good example. If I was to wash my van, it would take me about 30 minutes. If I was a perfectionist, it might take me all day and then there would be other things I wouldn't get done. So, being a perfectionist is one of those things. So, this might seem like a funny one. Saying yes too often. This is something that uh, I think I was guilty of a long time ago. It's good to say yes when people ask you to do stuff. It's good to be helpful. But it's also good to say no once in a while. Here's a good example. You don't want to help someone else so much um that you forget to take care of yourself or your own family. Okay? So, you want to say yes. You want to say yes as much as you can to what other people ask you to do uh but you don't want to do it too much because you might end up just doing things for other people all the time and not do anything for yourself. Daydreaming. So, daydreaming is when so some of you might be daydreaming right now. So, you're supposed to listen to me during the lesson. Um it's kind of your choice but you might just be kind of daydreaming. You might be thinking about oh later today, I might call my friend. Um oh, what do I need to so daydreaming is when you start to think about other things when you're supposed to be doing something else. Students often are guilty of this. Quite often, students will daydream in class instead of doing the work that they are supposed to be doing. So, hopefully, none of you are daydreaming. I'll snap a little bit to wake some of you up. Are you there? Wake up. Stop daydreaming. Pay attention to the lesson. Grocery shopping while hungry. So, this isn't really considered a bad habit but this is something that's not good to do. It's not Okay, I'm I put this one here just for myself. If I go grocery shopping when I'm hungry, I usually buy a lot of extra things that have a lot of sugar in them. So, if Jen gives me a list or if I make a grocery list and if I go to the grocery store and I'm full, if I'm not hungry, I buy what's on the list and I come home. If I go to the grocery store after work, I usually end up buying some cookies and I might buy a chocolate bar at the grocery store. Um it's just not a good idea. So, not necessarily a bad habit but this is definitely one of Bob the Canadian's bad habits. Grocery shopping while hungry. Eating out too much. So, this doesn't say eating too much. We already covered that under overeating I think. Did we talk about overeating? I think we did. Yes, we did. Um but eating out too much can be a bad habit for a lot of reasons. If you eat breakfast at home, if you make a lunch and take it to work with you or school and then if you make supper at home, it's actually cheaper but some people find it very convenient especially in North America, especially in Canada to go through the drive through to get breakfast, to get a coffee and a breakfast sandwich. Um to go out and get food at lunch with some people from work or school. But eating out too much is really expensive but it's also not healthy. So, you end up probably eating too much salt, probably not enough vegetables especially if you're eating fast food. The only vegetable on this plate, I think there's a little bit of lettuce over there and then it looks like there might be some tomato on the hamburger. But eating out too much can be a bad habit. 
Um, it's expensive and it's unhealthy. I like to eat out though. I don't eat out very often but uh um yeah, it is yummy, isn't it? To eat out and it's so convenient. You just give someone money and they give you some food. How can you go wrong? Leaving the lights on. This is something children do and I put this one on especially because my children do this. They have a habit of leaving the lights on in their room even during the daytime. It's a mystery to me. Um but I'm sure that there are things I do as well that are a mystery to them. They leave their lights on. I leave my sh- I don't put my shoes in the closet. So, we all have our little <laughs> strange things we do but this bothers me because I pay for the electricity. So, when I see the lights on in one of my kids rooms during the day uh or just when they're not in there it's it bothers me and I think it's a bad habit to leave the lights on. Pen clicking. So, I don't have a pen here to show you. I should have found one. I just have a pencil but some people will click the pen. It's a form of fidgeting um but they'll sit sometimes in a meeting. Sometimes students in class do this and it'll just be like click 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 click. Um that's a bad habit. It's probably a bad habit that it really annoys me as a teacher when students do this. I hope none of my students are watching because now they'll all do it the next time they're in my class but if you have a pen that clicks, you might have a bad habit of clicking it. Cracking your knuckles. I can't actually do this. Um I don't know if this is really a bad habit. I think it's bad for the joints in your fingers but when you crack your knuckles, you go like wow, those hands almost look like my hands. That's not me in the picture by the way. Um it yeah, mine don't do it but it I think it can be bad to kind of make all of your knuckles crack. I think it's bad for your joints. Um I'm just not able to do it. It's never really worked for me. I guess I'm not built the same way as other people. Grinding your teeth. This is something that people do in their sleep usually. It's when you put your teeth together and you're sleeping and you kind of grind the teeth against each other. If you go to the dentist, your dentist might say your teeth are wearing out a little bit because you're grinding your teeth while you sleep. So, grinding your teeth is um is a bad habit. I don't do this. Jen uh, does a little bit I think grind her teeth but um I couldn't find a good picture of it. I think this is just an angry child but it kind of looks like he's grinding his teeth. So, it's when you grind your teeth is when you do this with your teeth. You put them together and then you just yeah, not good. Speeding is a bad habit. I see this almost on a daily basis as well. People drive way too fast when they go down the road. Gossiping is when you talk about someone behind their back. So, when you have conversations with people, you can talk about you know something cool that your cousin did. You can talk about something you bought. You can talk about something. You can talk about positive things but you can also gossip. When you gossip, you talk about um things about other people that maybe they don't want you talking about. So, you might say things like um oh, Fred bought his another car and he can't afford it. I don't know why he bought that car. He's he's broke. He doesn't have enough money. So, gossiping is a bad habit. It's when you talk about people behind their backs. Students do this when the teacher leaves the classroom. They usually talk a little bit. Uh <laughs> rambling on. Uh so, this is one again that I'm guilty of. Sometimes at the end of my live lessons, I ramble on. Rambling on is when you just keep talking and you just don't stop talking. Um we had a family event this past weekend. So, some of my relatives came over and some of them ramble on a little bit. I ramble on quite a bit. It's when you don't let you know when you have a conversation, you take turns talking. Someone who rambles on doesn't let the other person talk very much. Um when they tell a story that they could tell the story in 10 sentences, they actually use 100 sentences to tell the story. They kind of ramble on and it goes along with this repeating yourself. Um this is something that I'm doing more and more. Um you tell the same stories more than once to the same people. Um so, when you repeat yourself um yeah, it's kind of funny. The older we get, the more likely you are to repeat yourself. The more likely you are to have a bad habit of telling the same stories over and over again. 
to other people. And then saying, um, this is one that I'm guilty of. I think for those of you that watch my videos, some YouTubers cut out every time they stay, uh, say um and I don't and I never will. Uh it's just something um see I just said it. It's just something uh that we say that was an ah uh, ums and ahs uh, that we say when we're thinking while we're talking. Um so <laughs> I just, sorry I'm becoming self-conscious of the fact that I say um so it's making me laugh but saying um is something you should try not to do if you are an English learner um but you will end up using ums and ahs because it's just a natural part of informal speech. It's a bad habit um to use them too <laughs> too often. I just said um again if you're wondering why I'm laughing. Um and then I just said it again. Sorry, I should wrap this up. Saying um a lot is a bad habit. Apparently, I'm very guilty of it. 